Thank you for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Can you share a little bit about who you are, your home life, and your professional life? Sure. Well, I grew up in Minnetonka my entire life, and I am so excited for the opportunity to represent my hometown community at the legislature. I am engaged. My fiance Kate and I are planning a wedding June 6th, so right after the session, and we're both uh, very excited for that. I'm a lawyer by training. I went to the University of Minnesota Law School, practiced for a, uh, at a large firm for a number of years, both through school uh, as a summer associate and then after school for two and a half years, and then started my own affordable housing consulting business and still practice law in the affordable housing uh, arena, and I'm, I'm really excited about that work and, and hope to continue doing so. What legislative issues are you going to make your priority this session? Living in the Minnetonka community my entire life and, and speaking with uh, neighbors, community leaders, uh, family and friends who are also in the community, the top issues for us are education, uh, the economy, and transportation. So those are three large issues that I hope to uh, be a part of uh, solutions for at the legislature and I, I really look forward to working to improving those areas and, and all areas for not just my community members but for all Minnesotans. Why did you decide to run for legislative office? I've always wanted to do it. Since I was a little kid, I always was intrigued by the possibility of improving people's lives. And I think our government has uh, the best opportunity in which to do so. And I'm excited to be a part of it and, and to get to work come January. When the end of session comes and you return back home, how would you like the people in your district to determine if you have been a successful legislator? Well, a couple different things. Number one, delivering excellent constituent services, which I uh, feel is my top priority is, as far as being a, a freshman uh, legislator who hasn't done this before. That's a very important part of the job. Number two, properly representing my constituents uh, on the House floor with regard to votes that reflect our community needs. So. Those two areas uh, I'll be focusing on, and I know I'm going to do my very best to properly represent everyone and uh, do a good job. And I, I know uh, if I work hard, keep my head down, that uh, they'll be satisfied with the work that I do here. If you were banished to a deserted island, what three items would you bring with you and why? I would bring my fiance and a Morse code transmitting device along with a manual on how to use it. Those would be my three items. Although I'd love to stay there forever with her. I'm sure she'd get sick of me eventually and we'd have to get away. Thank you for taking the time to sit down and join us.